Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess. If you are not, welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the new Natasha Denona Mini Retrograde Palette. I only have one other Natasha Denona Mini and it is the Mini Nude. And it is probably one of my favorite Natasha Denona palettes just because it's so um, user friendly and travel friendly. But this new palette is really, really cute. These are the shades here. And I'll go ahead and swatch them for you guys. Starting off with the bottom here, we have Galaxia. Then we have Industrial. This one is called 60s. Then we have Vintage Taupe. And then the top one here is called Pixie. So not all of these are new shades. If you already own the um, Star eyeshadow palette, then Galaxia, which is this one here, is in the Star palette. Industrial is in the 28 pan uh, green brown palette. And then Vintage Taupe is in the Tropic eyeshadow palette. And I have none of those palettes, so I am totally okay with having this. I think even if I did have a couple of those, this one is still really nice because it is so small and compact. You can travel with it. And these pan sizes, I feel like I'd get through a lot quicker than I would any of her other um, palettes. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start by taking Vintage Rose and putting that all over the crease. I'm gonna be pretty generous with this shade and take it pretty high up. definitely got some nice pigmentation to it. You can definitely see it on my skin tone, which is really nice, which is something I was a little bit worried about. So I've got it coming pretty high up just because I want it to be able to peek through the next shade that I put down. I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush and go in to 60s, which is the beautiful matte green. And I'm going to take this in the outer corner and into the crease. Wow, that is so pretty. take my initial brush just to kind of blend those two together. And then I'm going to take a flat brush and cut my crease just using some concealer. The hard part is getting them even, which I never do. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this crease. I wouldn't say that they're even, but it's close enough for me. <laughs> I'm going to take the shade that I took 60s on with no additional product, just to kind of go over the edge of the concealer. Then I'm just going to go in with my finger and go in to Industrial, which is that beautiful dark kind of metallic green, and put that in the center of the eye. Such a beautiful shade. Again, going back in with that, um, that what is it called, 60s shade, just to kind of go over the edges. And I'm just barely tapping the brush back into the pan to really buff this in. I think I might add a little bit more to this side. And then I'm going to take this shade Pixie and put that in the inner part of the eye, just using my finger again. definitely becoming an interesting look. I'm going to have to blend these two glitters together. I 
and then going back in with the color industrial just to kind of I'm gonna go back and forth between industrial and pixie to get a seamless kind of blend in here All right, that doesn't look too bad for the inner corner I am going to go into Galaxia and pop this on the inner corner Wow, can you guys see that? That is so pretty. Galaxia is definitely a little bit more chunky than um, Pixie and Industrial, so just be mindful of that. Adding the inner corner just really finishes off the eyes, I think. So pretty. Okay, moving on to the lower lash line. I am going to take Vintage Taupe on a small pencil brush and just run this along, all along the lower lash line to the inner corner. And then taking a flat brush, I'm going to go into 60s and really push that into the lower lash line um, really, really close to the lashes. And then going back in with the um, pencil brush that had a vintage taupe on it, I'm going to just buff that over it. And then I think for this look, I want to use a brown eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and do eye eyeliner and mascara, and I will be right back. All right, so here is the finished look with lips and mascara and eyeliner done. What do you guys think? I love the way this look came out. Um, I've been more into like greens lately, so I really, really like the way this look turned out. And I believe there are a few things I wanna go over that I forgot to mention earlier, so I'm gonna zoom you guys out. So earlier, one of the things that I forgot to mention was the price on this bad boy. It is $25, which I think for the Natasha Denona formula is, really, is a really, really good price. Sephora is also going through their spring save sale. So if you are a beauty insider or um, VIB, VIB Rouge, you will get 10, 15 to 20% off. So I really do think that this is um, something that you should pick up. This was in a lot of other YouTubers recommendations videos. So I highly, highly recommend it. This is one of Natasha's like good formulas. Sometimes these little ones and some of her other palettes can be hit or miss, but this one, she hit it out of the park. I really, really love it. Again, I love the size. I love the colors. If you do have a huge Natasha Denona collection, then you may not really need this just because only two of these shades are new. But personally, even if I did have those sh um, other palettes, which I don't, I would still suggest getting this just because you have an all-in-one like travel-friendly palette. Um, and it, I don't believe that it's limited edition. It doesn't say that on the website on either Sephora or Natasha Denona's website. So I'm hoping that it's here to stay. And I think that is all I have for you guys today. It was a super quick video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, bye guys.